What's up YouTube? So the van build has begun, uh, the interior portion of it anyway. Uh, the 4x4 conversion and all that is complete. I've been driving it, enjoying it. Um, so now the interior part. So we didn't make a video of it, but we have gutted the E350 interior. I'm gonna walk outside right now and I'll show it to you where it stands right now and what we found. And man, we found some stuff that we were not looking forward to. So stay tuned, I'll show it to you. Here we go. So here's the van as it is right now. Uh, the interior, interior is completely gutted out of it. And I'll step up in here so you can get out of the wind. So, what we found. We ripped the whole subfloor out of this van and carpet everything and realized that it had obviously been leaking water into the van uh, when it was out east because this van originally came from Pennsylvania. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, this van was actually from Utah when I got it. And it was used from at a uh, firefighter place that did to handle grass fires. So there was a water tank and a bed and, and they would cruise this thing out in a grass field. And guys would spray, basically spray the grass that had been on fire and they would camp in the van if need be, if the fire restarted and they could get it put out again. Um, pretty rural part of Utah is where it was used. But before that, the van was in uh, Pennsylvania. I don't know how long it was in Pennsylvania because the same company owned it uh, at that time. So uh, it was kind of a weird deal. So anyway, long story short, uh, the van's got some rust issues in some spots that aren't awesome. So here, I'll show them to you. So here is one of them. This is the driver's side, uh, one, two, three, fourth body mount back, right beside the wheel well. And obviously there had been some water leaks, so that's one patch that has to get made and you can see about the size of it. And here's the next one. This one is probably the one that's a little bit worse. So after I got the carpet out, the there was a little bit of rust on here and I was like, well, it doesn't look too bad. And I started chipping at it, chipping at it, chipping at it. And finally was just like, I'm gonna cut my way back to just good fresh metal and be done with it. And that's where it ended up. So luckily none of the support. So what makes me think this was an interior water leak is both sides of the van. The support that's underneath here, the cross beam that holds the, the body mount is solid with almost no rust on it. There's almost no rust underneath here really but all the rust was contained on the sheet metal on top. So there had obviously been a water leak from maybe the tank that they had in here from the firefighter days. I'm not 100% sure. So the other one, the other two I should say, when I had the windshield replaced in the van, this is the other issue. There was a, obviously a water leak from the windshield. They let me know the windshield had been leaking and the passenger side the same way. So I have to build patch panels for the floor, which is not a huge deal. I just really was not expecting to have to do it on this interior build. I was really hoping when we got this all apart and that I could just literally uh, start building it out. So my wife was a little bit bummed that the uh, this is what 
the interior turned into and it's going to be some ser pretty serious work to do this the way it needs to be done which is not a huge deal i mean i do do this every day but uh we just weren't expecting to have to do it because doing these four patch panels cutting it all cut out is probably it's probably a solid two two days worth of work to do it right so anyway that is the update video uh, there will be more to come on the interior build when I start doing all the sheet metal in here, fixing the rust repairs, and then down the line there will be some update videos on the uh, engine upgrades I'll be doing uh, at the same time. So stay tuned, follow, tag, share, like, all that good jazz, and uh, follow along. Appreciate it.